For this pencast, we will be finding the indices of these two planes. So we will be looking for sets of numbers which will define the locations and orientations of the planes within their respective cubic unit cells. Now in solving for the indices of this top plane, the first step will be to choose the origin. Now the origin can be at any point within the cubic unit cell, but it is usually at 0, 0, 0. Unfortunately, the origin is not allowed to lie at any point on the plane, so for this problem, we'll have to move it. I will place the new origin at a cube corner which is close to the plane. Now, any of the corners on the front face of the cube will work, but for this problem, I will choose 1, 0, 0 to be the new origin. Now I will call this new origin O prime, and to go along with it, there will be a new x prime axis, a new y prime axis, and a new z prime axis. And all of our future calculations will be done with respect to these new axes. Now the next step is to find the intercepts with respect to these new origins. So to find the x-intercept, I will start with the new origin, and I will travel along the x prime axis until the plane intercepts it, which it does right here at negative 1. Now we will go back to the new O prime origin, and we will travel along the new y prime axis until the plane intercepts it. As you can see, this will never happen, so we can save the intercept as infinity. And if we go back to the new origin, and travel along the z prime axis, we can see the same thing will happen. The plane will never intercept the axis, so we can save that the intercept is infinity. Now, we will take the reciprocals of these numbers. So we will take 1 over the x prime intercept, which is negative 1, and that will equal negative 1. We will take 1 over the y prime intercept, which is infinity, and that will equal 0. And finally, we will take 1 over the z prime intercept, which is also infinity, and that will equal 0 as well. Now the next step is to simplify these numbers to the smallest possible integer values. As you can see, negative 1, 0, and 0 are already at their smallest possible integer values, so we can leave them the same for this step. Our next step is to replace any negative signs with bars. So negative 1 will become bar 1, and both 0 and 0 will remain the same. Now the final step in solving for the indices of this plane is to add the round parentheses. So we will have open parentheses, bar 1, 0, 0, close parentheses as our final answer. So these right here are the indices of this plane. Now we will solve for the indices of this bottom plane. Just like above, the first step will be choosing the origin. Now we can place the origin at 0, 0, 0 for this problem, because as you can see the plane does not intercept the point and it is at a cube corner, which is close to the plane. Now the next step is to find the intercepts. For this, we will be using our origin and x, y, and z axes. So we will start at the origin, and we will travel along the x-axis until the plane intercepts it. As you can see, it never does, so we will call the intercept infinity. Now if we go back to the origin, we can see that the same thing will happen to the y-axis. The plane never crosses it, so the intercept is infinity. Finally, if we go back to the origin, we can travel along the z-axis until the plane intercepts it, which occurs at 1. Next, we can take the reciprocals of these numbers, so 1 over the x-intercept, which is infinity, and that will equal 0, 1 over the y-intercept, which is infinity, and that will equal 0, and 1 over the z-intercept, which is 1, and that will equal 1. Now the next step is to simplify these numbers to the smallest possible integer values. As you can see, 0, 0, and 1 are already at their smallest possible integer values, so they will remain the same for this step. Our next step is to replace any negative signs with bars. As you can see, there are no negative signs, so 0, 0, and 1 will again remain the same. Now our final step in solving this is to add the round parentheses, so we'll have open parentheses, 0, 0, 1, close parentheses, and that will be the final answer for the indices of this plane. If you need any further help on this topic, make sure to check out our YouTube channel, Materials Concepts. Thanks for watching.